can Chelsea break that unbeaten record? And uh, the check having to come out quickly. I think he took a, a little bit of a knock there from uh, Steve Hunt, who's probably a little eager to make his point in his first Premiership start. Yeah, he did actually. I think uh, Stephen Hunt quite rightly feeling that he wants to chase everything down, but he did appear to catch Pe uh, Petr Cech there on the side of the face. Might rightly the referee call him for uh, the Chelsea's trainer to come on just there. I don't think it was with the foot. I think it was just with either just below the knee or maybe just the shin catching the goalkeeper. Just there, look, just on the side of the face. But nonetheless, <laughs> that doesn't do you any favours in the first 40 seconds. Well, it looks a little dazed there. It certainly does. Petr Cech, who of course... Uh, was uh, in goal against the Republic of Ireland uh, yeah. midweek. Steve Hunt, an Irishman, <laughs> just yeah. reminding him of the draw on Wednesday. Perhaps for Hunt, though, it's uh, a big opportunity. Obviously, Carlo Cudicini would come in yeah. if there is a problem yeah, for it, Czech. It is, a, it is a big day for Hunt. He's just got to uh, uh, do his job as best he can. He's got to try and get a Paolo Ferreira. Ferreira's good going forward. I don't think he's so clever at the, uh, defensively, so uh, it's, a, it's, it's, a, it's an opportunity, this sort of game, for Hunt to, uh, to get at the fullback and uh, try and take him on. Well, to give you some idea for his eagerness, as uh, you saw here, he played 44 games last season for Reading in his first season, 41 of them as substitute. Right, there you go, yeah, and it's just as you can see from that angle there, it's definitely the knee that was caught the goalkeeper on the side of the head, and he's in big, big trouble, I think, there for the goalkeeper. I wouldn't be surprised to see Cudicini. Well, a signal for Cudicini to get ready. Obviously, you, you can't give attention and not have a goalkeeper in there. It's either on and stays on or he's off. I think what's happening here, Mike Riley probably wants to get going. He wants to get the game underway. And I think the Chelsea players are saying, hold on a minute, look, we want to give him as much time as we possibly can. We don't want to make a change yet. It's a goalkeeper, for goodness sakes. Allow us a little bit more time just to double-check. He's got a bang in the face. And I think that's what they're all pleading with Mike Riley. It'd just be a little bit patient. Let's give him as much time as we possibly can. Well, Josie wasn't too happy with Mike Riley when Chelsea took on Liverpool early this season. He didn't disagree with the sending off of Michael Ballack, who, of course, is suspended for his third match today. But the fact that Sissoko wasn't sent off in that match as well. And he'll probably want to see Riley use his common sense here and allow Petr Cech the chance to come round and see if he's OK to carry yeah. on. And I think with the game hardly underway as well, Richard, I think, it, it, I think the Chelsea players have a point here. Let's just give this goalkeeper uh, as much time as we possibly can. It's not like we're 20 minutes into the game and we don't want to stop it and delay it. The game is what, virtually just a few seconds old. Well, Carlo Cudicini, of course, uh, filled in for Petr Cech at the start of the season when Cech came back from the World Cup injured. So he's had some Barclays English Premier League outings this season already. What, he, you're saying maybe there's a booking there for Hunt? Well, I just, I'm just seeing that. The, I'm just seeing certainly uh, Mr. Riley there appeared to be jotting something down on a yellow card or in his notebook. But you can clearly see here the goalkeeper is not right, and, I, and, and it's it's the sort of game, the sort of situation you cannot possibly. If he doesn't, and, and, and looking at him there, doesn't appear he's going to be able to continue. Then you've got a perfectly able deputy in Carlo Cudicini. Well, the Italian is. Uh been sticking around really well Petr Cech has produced brilliant performance after performance as Chelsea's number one mm. many thought maybe Cudicini should move elsewhere such a good goalkeeper he is but surely this is the end now for Cech well it looks like it I mean they're not he's not on his side in a recovery position so obviously he is he is conscious as such but there you go there's Carlo Cudicini he's uh, stri getting stripped and getting ready to go well sad start to the match for Chelsea in particular for Better check one of the best goalkeepers in the world, but you can see that knee of Steve Hunt is still affecting him, and he's hardly come round. Just 30 seconds into the game, um, we've already had almost four minutes of stoppage time already. Carlo Cudicini, who have played in the first two games of the season, including the defeat at Middlesbrough is uh, about to come on as I said Kudicini is the top class goalkeeper but don't underestimate the strength of, uh, of Czech I mean he has been an outstanding goalkeeper for both Chelsea and his country the Czech Republic and that will be a big loss and also for Kudicini psychologically maybe not yet prepared for this game well you certainly, certainly don't anticipate coming on when you're a substitute in any sort of match Richard you like to try and keep yourself right but normally especially for a goalkeeper as well uh, and someone as reliable as Czech no you wouldn't be anticipating coming on